with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back with another thrift haul today. I've got items here from Goodwill and some yard sales and then one item from Facebook Marketplace that I bought. Uh, so let's take a look. All right, so some of these items are gonna be a little bit different than the last few hauls that I've done, which I'm completely okay with because I like to have different items. But I bought these glasses right here on Facebook Marketplace for $10. I did have to drive a ways, but I don't know. I just had it in me. I wanted to get them. With Christmas coming up, I feel like, you know, they're going to have a better chance of selling. And I've sold a couple sets of these in the past anyway. So I bought them for $10. And they are Anchor Hawking Bubble Foot or Boopy glasses. So it's a clear bottom emerald or forest green top. And they're water glasses from the 50s. So grabbed those they'll go online and they'll sell for about ten dollars a piece i'll sell the set of six of them though with shipping included for probably around 75 dollars. so that's awesome right over here we have a vcr i haven't tested it yet but the guy he looked honest enough he said that it worked i paid five dollars that was my price nothing was priced he said what would you give me i said well five and he said if it doesn't work i can always bring it back but you know i'm not going to do that that's I'm just, let me just show up on your doorstep one day. Uh, by the way, you sold this to me two weeks ago and it doesn't work. No. So I took a little chance and I got to test it out first, but $5 VCRs on eBay do about $50 for one like this. Does not have the remote. That's okay. Need to get some uh, composition. No, that's not the right word. Composite, composite cables. The ones that are red, yellow, and white audio visual cables, component cables. All right, this is awesome. Musical nursery mobile, also at this guy's sale. I said I would give him $3 for it and he said, yes. So if I can open the darn thing, really cool. There's the top of it and there it is. So it does play music, there is a wind up uh, knob right there you can you can twist and it, and it works wonderfully and then that little J thing hooks on to the bottom here to make an umbrella or the make you know make to make the handle of it so a really awesome find I don't know how much this is gonna go for online I would guess I don't know between 30 and 40 dollars though so that is cool and it's probably from the I don't know 70s looks like it need to do a little research but really cool really really cool over here another interesting vintage find 12 piece set they're all in here by the way let me just open this up so you can see really cool divided plates so there's four plate four big plates four little plates and four cups this is here you need to get co closer so there's some dirt on here but it literally just comes right off. So I have to wash these, but they look to be never or hardly used. Uh, what tr what's tricky about this is the box size, trying to ship something like this, but you know, what are you gonna do? It was $3.50, I had to grab it at a yard sale. So that is awesome. I don't know what they go for. Um, historically speaking with me, I've not had a great deal of luck selling plastic dinnerware or plastic ware uh, if it's not Melmac or Melamine or uh, this says casual wear by Jerry, Jerry Will. Okay. So plastic, you know, it, what am I going to say? Probably $20, $30, but I'd love to be surprised. So I'll do a little research on that one. I think the last thing that I got at that guy's yard, or that was a different yard sale, but when I went to that guy's yard sale, he also had these blow molds. This one here is very faded, um, and he's, somebody screwed a little hook here, uh, but comes with the light and everything, and it's vintage. Then it also, he also had this one here. Again, another hook on the top. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Uh, so that you could hang it. This one's missing the light, but I have lots of extras. So we're good on that. Um, again, nothing was priced. He said, how much? <laughs> I held these up and I was like, well, how much do you want for these? He's like, oh, for the uh, 
well, I said, this one's really faded. And he's like, well, that's an, it's an antique. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, here we go. So I said, well, what are you thinking on these two? And he's like, um, I said, what about $3? And he was like, oh no. And I was thinking in my head, oh no, here we go. Is he's going to want like $10? He's like, just a dollar. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so a dollar for this one and this one for the pair. Very cool. This one is my favorite. Uh, I did a little research though, and I think this can get about thirty to forty dollars online. This little uh, uh, ghost reaper guy. So that's awesome. Grabbed here a little spode Christmas dish at Goodwill for fifty cents, and it had came with the box. That's why I grabbed it. And uh, I don't know why I keep buying this stuff. I don't have a good re uh, record of it selling necessarily, but I don't know. I, th I have an issue. That's my issue. Uh, I grabbed this here at a yard sale. I thought it was pretty cute. $1.50. It's a great booth item. Even if it doesn't go out until spring, I had to grab it um, because nothing else was there for me. <laughs> and I wanted to make my time worth something. This has to be one of my favorite things that I've bought in a while. Um, well, I can't say that unilaterally, but really, really cool. It's definitely unique in its own way. The size of it's cool. So it opens up here. This side doesn't have the insert on that side. That's okay. There's a drawer here and a drawer here. And then there's a scene right here of this oriental woman in a dress. And then if you open it up here, it plays music and you can see her down there too. And then this here opens up. So what an amazing find. Absolutely stunning. Mirror there, $2. Wow, 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 what a great price. There is some uh, wearing on this lacquer. Is that the right word? I wish I could get my words correct. Um, this black paint stuff. So there is some wear on it in various places, as you can see. I've, you know, I just think it's amazing. And there's scenes all around it. So, except the back. But very, actually, I think it is marked Japan on the bottom, which kind of goes without saying. There we are, made in Japan. And there's where you twist her up. Twist and shout. So very, very, very cool. Don't know what it's going to sell for. I would imagine, I don't know, between $50 and $80 with shipping included. We'll see if I can be so lucky. All right. Uh, last couple things here on the table. We've got this little bank, also at Goodwill for $2. Had to grab it. It's a great little booth item. Metal. G good bank. You're a good bank. This I grabbed, it was only 50 cents. I thought that the stones on here applied were really unique. And um, I don't normally buy f picture frames, but this one was unique enough for me to buy it for 50 cents. I think that will go over well, if not in the booth, then online if I wanna you know, list that. Actually, look here, $25. Hmm. Wow, okay. So if it goes in the booth, probably $8, $8 to $10. Pretty neat. Okay, so I think that's about all that I have to show you right there. All right, so <laughs> I really need to get on listing these. They are mostly blankets. So we got some tablecloths as well. But these blankets need to be listed because it's getting cold outside. So I need to list those. I just finished the haul so I can clear this table off and go to town with them. But oh, that's probably gonna be what I work on for the next couple hours, hopefully less. There's about 10 things right there. Uh, we've got vintage tablecloths that I was trying to decide if I wanna put them in my booth or not, but I just don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't wanna put them in the booth. So I'm gonna put them online. So we've got three or four, yeah, four tablecloths. Uh, one, two, three, four, five blankets. Oh, and then we've got a tree, and then we got two tree skirts, one knitted and one not. <laughs> so, 
yeah, got to get those listed. And then over here we have a mess because we cleaned out our laundry room area downstairs. And this table set we had in our previous house, it's, it's counter height. And I don't like counter height um, anymore. I did at one point, I guess. But I listed them on Facebook Marketplace for $80. And we'll see if they sell. It's an oval table with a leaf in the inside. Uh, that's low. The price is low, and that's because there is issues with it. Uh, the chairs have a couple fabric um, right here. The dog, when she was younger, she would cl like claw on the side of the chair if you were sitting on there because she wanted up there with you. Actually, she probably wanted to eat the food. But this one's messed up, and then another one's messed up on the side. And then the whole top of the table has like paint splatter and stuff from doing different crafts that I was doing because it was in the laundry room downstairs. So there's the base for it. And then right here, I actually bought this shelf uh, from someone off of Craigslist. It was being sold for $10 and it comes with shelves. They're just off to the side here. Where'd they go? Oh, they're behind it. So there's three there and obviously they, they go in. So, uh, this is going to go in my either my pre one of my booths, which would probably be booth number two, or I'm thinking about getting a third booth. <sighs> but that's a little bit iffy, and I just don't know. I don't know. That's really dependent on getting really unique display pieces. I want to have, I'm trying to formulate in my head and, and just get a really good idea of what I want to do with a space if I was given another space. Um, basically take everything I've learned from my previous two spaces and just make a really, really good one. So I've been toying with the idea of making like a vintage kitchen with like old counter, like an old uh, cabinet base with, you know, formica and all that. But sometimes it just is a little impractical. Um, it's hard enough to find a vintage countertop and cabinet, let alone find one that's the right size and the right price. I want to get another booth. I, I think, I mean, I, I can easily keep up with the two that I have. I'm often finding myself with extra things. So I'd like to get another booth. I put in a word at the 10 pin antique mall where I have a booth to see if they have one coming up or if they know of one, you know, I could wait. That's fine. I just need to know what my next plan is. Um, slowly shifting things off of line off of line, off, <laughs> offline, things that aren't selling so well, things that don't sell for very much, that aren't worth my time to list and ship and all that, and put more of that in the booth um, is sort of where my head is at right now. So, you know, that's, that's what I think I'm going to do. That's my next plan. But, um, yeah. What are you looking at? How has it been being a dog today? Pretty good, huh? Have you been doing a good job being a dog? Looks like it. You're very good at being a dog too. I think you've practiced. Have you practiced? I know it's very stressful and everything. I know. You've got so much to worry about being a dog. I know. Your beard's getting a little out of hand here. Yes. There you go. You're ready for the ball. <laughs>